What's up, fam? It's your boy Black at you, back at you, another short video. Just got for work. Cheers to all y'all got J-O-Bs who put in that good eight hours. Y'all deserve a good sip. Ah, for all the stress at work, you got, but don't bring that stress on, fam. Do not bring that stress on and stress you lay down the kids. Don't do that. Well, anyway, well, anyway, well, anyway, what's going on, fam? What's going on? I ain't been for a couple of days. What's going on out here in the social media world? Hmm? The social media world is a gift and a curse. A gift and a curse for a lot of people. One thing I say about social media, like Facebook and things like that, people you ain't seen in years, 20 years, and, and stuff like that popping up, like, oh, man, dad, that's homie from, you know, junior high school and things like that. So that's a real good thing. I would say about social media, you get to find things, you know. You get to find a lot of things that you don't even know about, like deaths and you know, stuff like that. Like that homeway dead, family dead, you know. People won't, won't never even contact you, you know, if this person's sick or whatever's going on, you know. But you check Facebook. It's like the obituaries back in the day had the newspapers, the daily news, the obituaries. You check out there every Monday, I believe it was, who died. It's like Facebook now, you know. Every week someone's dropping. It's like, wow, you know, that's, like I say, the gift and the curse, you know. You get to see people, you get to find out about people, you get to see them go, you know. It's like, wow. You also get to see families grow. How long you been inside Facebook, fam? I've been doing it on Facebook for, been some, I'll say, some little, little while now. You can watch people grow. People you don't even know, you know. You might be friending them a long time ago. They done had kids, you know, they look, they still on here, and the kids grow, so you don't watch them grow, you know. So, therefore, if we all watch each other grow, just imagine what the um, alphabet boy's doing, how they're observing us. People say, oh, don't do this with your DNA snack. They got your DNA already once you're born, you know. You got to get blood up. You got to get MNA shots. So, they don't got your DNA if you don't want it. Huh, they do have it. Believe that, fam. You know, they do got it. Like I said, it's a gift and a curse to social media. It's a gift and a curse. People go on social media, you can be what you want to be. You know, you can be the nerd, the little nerd. But then you can come home, you know. <laughs> you might be putting some fake tattoos on, whatever you do. Then you can be, you come out, you super thug. You're like, got the mean grill on. You know, you're thugging. But, you know, when you walk outside that door, you got a little cat, a little kitty, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's like a gift and a curse. You can be whatever you want to be. And that's the wild thing about it. In a way, that's good, you know. Because you got some, maybe some kids out there who have no friends and things like that. So they come over here and troll people. You know, they troll me too. They troll all, all the, the real brothers out there. Everyone gets trolled, you know, by these little nerds that have no kind of life, nothing to do, but just to come home, make a little fake page, you know, no picture of themselves, make some cartoon character. And every day he's on your he's on your stuff, da 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 da, da, da talking bad about your videos. But in reality, this chump is back home lonely watching watching black at your videos butt naked. You know, some weirdo. There's a lot of y'all out there. Like I said, it's a gift or a curse. It's social media stuff out there. It definitely is. Like I said, people can be where they want to be. Well, what I see also just now is a new craze on um YouTube. Prison stories. Everybody got prison stories. <laughs> if you watch one prison story, next you know you get recommended for all of us. Like, damn, he got one, he got one, he got one. Black, white, Hispanics, everybody got prison stories. You know, and some are very entertaining. Yes, they are. They are very entertaining. Even though I don't condone violence. I do not condone violence. But like I said, right now it's getting a little monotonous. It's getting monotonous. Getting the same old thing there, you know. Most getting shanked or whatever this is. That's what happens inside the penal system, you know. But, but a lot of these guys out there, I'm not putting down what they do. I'm not doing it. I'm definitely not putting down what they do because they have good intentions in their heart, you know. So I have respect for the brothers that are doing that. But they all come and say they do it for the kids. Like I said, they have good intentions. But these little chumps out there ain't going to listen to y'all. You know, you're coming just saying, don't do this. If you do, you're going to come to the pen. You're going to endure these just horrific scenes, you know. You don't you you don't want a, a bunky smelling and shit and this and that. Yeah, I'm sure your mama, your big brother, your some homies, whatever, told y'all the same thing. But what y'all did, y'all still did it. It's the same thing I always say. You can tell someone to do something, 
but you can't make them do it, you know? And like I say, 90%, 90%, oh, I say 95%, you reach out to the young ones out there, say, don't do this, don't do that. I done did 10, 15 in the prison. You don't want to go and do that? He's not going to listen to you. He's going to listen to you for that, that one time. Then, but it's like, man, I might get money. You know, oh, head out there, I understand. I appreciate what he's trying to do for me, but um, I got to get paid. So in the process of me trying to get paid, he's going to get locked up. And he got to live it, you know? He got to live and go through it. His 10, 15 years, and then he's going to be the one coming out in, what, 2034? You no. Know, if they still got YouTube, and come on, here's my story, you know? I don't want y'all to do get caught with the same mess that I got caught up and shit like that. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Like I say, you no. Know, people got to live their own experience. I say, really, you can talk to them. You might save one, and I say, like this here, if you do put some positive vibes out there and you save one little young brother from the pen, then your mission is completed. You help somebody, you know, so I ain't knocking that. But I'm saying a lot of these little chumps out there, they got to take their butt out <laughs> and go upstate and, and go through the, the prison riots and go through all that bullshit. All the stuff they, 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 they look every day, they fantasize about. They saw these, these dudes talking about this and that, rah, 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 rah. I'm about to say, I'm about to say a curse word. Forget that. Forget that. Young bloods, do not glorify that there. Because like I say, real Jesus will tell you not to glorify. And real gangsters... Do not talk, publicize things they've done and all stuff like that. Nah, they don't do that. But like I said, this is the new age, the social media age. Everybody will come on social media and be a star now. You know, have their face on there, you know. Give a couple live streams, you know. Throw about two views a day. Ain't saying nothing at all. Ain't saying a damn thing. But I'm going to try to say, I'm doing this for the kids. Yeah, man, go ahead. Nah, nah. You might you might say that the kids are like this here. But you're trying to line their pockets up. Everybody will try and get try and get a little something. So that's what you want to do. You try and get paid to coming out with the weak content. And it was like, come on, dudes. Tell us something new. Tell us something new. I can't listen to four, five, six dudes every day telling prison stories. You know, that's why I stopped listening to them. I listen to a few of the real dudes. But some of these dudes that look at them like, I done did 15 years. I'm like, huh? You? <laughs> Dude coming home, not, not no, no slashes looking pretty. You know, like I said, but the real best guard there who been in wars, whew, they got fucking butt fingers on their face and shit like that. That's something I don't, I wouldn't want. And I wouldn't want to see that. You know, I don't see that. So, you know, the young bloods out there, listen up to these guys out there. I would say listen up to them because they've been there. Listen up to them, you know. Do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. Let me sit behind some wall. Like, do someone sell. You can do like this. And you can touch each, um, each wall. It's nine feet up, you know. So if you my, my size, you got about two, two and a half feet up above you, man. That close to four big there. Then you got to do some buck mate, farting and stuff. He's sick, vomiting, diarrhea, shitting, masturbating all the while. Come on, no. Y'all don't want that life. Y'all don't want that life. Damn sure don't. So uh, y'all been busy there? Listen to these, these gangbangers out there telling y'all stuff like that. Listen to them because they done been through it and they done been through the war. And I'm out. Peace.